Hey there everybody, this is XP Walker, and we are trying to hunt some dragons today. As you can see, my ship was just firing on a few that got within range, and uh, I actually made a tutorial just a few seconds ago that was much larger than, than this, but I could not find a dragon for the life of me. These guys, uh, for some reason, just do not want to fight. However, now they seem to be in the mood, so we're going to make a tutorial about it. Dragon Hunting 101 now, as you can see, I am not telling my ship to fire on this dragon, it's just doing it, and I'm going to show you how we accomplish this. Here he comes. Ooh, here comes a few. Yeah, things are going to get interesting now. So this is what we did. While my ship's fighting, I'm going to explain to you the uh, automatic weapons control. First of all, you already know that by hitting F, we can go into first person mode and take aim at targets. But as you can see, it's literally 360 degrees, and it's going to be very hard to aim and fire at dragons this way. So the easier route is to let our balloon do it for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit information, and yes, you'll notice it's just firing. We're going to go to information, vessel info, by hitting I or clicking on the gear. And we're going to make sure that each of these is set to A for automatic. If I hit the up arrow, it changes it to group 1, meaning I can fire it myself. But I want these all to automatic because the AI does a much better job killing dragons than I do. And you're going to set your your dragon range at 1,000. If you're using, if you're low on ammo or you're using a very high speed weapon, like a this is a 1 slash 10 machine gun flurry 300. If you're using a 1200, which is way higher fire rate, you can lower that to 700 meters or feet or whatever the distance is. But since we're just trying to get Dragon's attention, we're going to set it to 1000. Another advantage of firing at a far distance is you can kill them before they even get a shot off on you. So we're doing a pretty good job. It looks like, looks like we are actually at our flight ceiling. That's why my ship is slowly losing health. So we're going to drop down. Dragons will follow you down. If you zoom into the map, you can see some of their buddies are on their way. There's a lot of little red dots coming after me. The cool thing about fighting dragons is once you shoot one, his friends will all come to avenge him. So you don't have to chase every single dragon down, which is quite a chore. Alright, you'll notice with each dragon I kill, I get reputation with the Empire and Union. The higher your reputation is, the less you get from each dragon kill, but it will still add up over time. And reputation is good because it means that you're allowed in the lands of said Union or Empire. And while we continue to fight dragons, we're going to drop down and we're going to start to pick up some of this dragon loot. Uh, if you've been following along, if following the achievements, there, the next achievement was to kill five dragons, which rewarded us 1,500 silvers. And we've already done, well, I've already done that in this tutorial. It's very easy to do once you've attacked one. Our next is going to be earn 10 silver from selling trophies. That's actually kind of a hard one. This is one of the longer term goals. It's going to take you an hour or two of gameplay, probably. Unless you get lucky and find an area where a high level player just slaughtered a thousand dragons and you could just loot all that crap and sell it. But we're going to do what we can. We're going to pick up what loot we can and uh, try to sell this for our extra 2,000 silver. The hard part is going to be shooting down an NPC pirate which will definitely be in a different tutorial. Alright, so we should be low enough to start to loot. And I just finished a skill, too, at the same time. Never leave dead air when it comes to training skills. Always have something going. Let's do uh, another level of battle magic. Yeah, see, I got an email saying my ship was damaged from high coordinates because I was above my flight ceiling. Hey, I finished my objective. Alright, so we've killed our five dragons. Pretty easy to do, actually.
but I'm sure you can see we're burning through ammo pretty quick. Uh, you started the game with 500 ammo on each gun. I took the liberty of buying up about about 800 more ammo per gun and I've already almost burned through it so what you start with in ammo is not going to be enough don't count on that being all you need of course the way to buy ammo we can go back to the market you can go to ammunition 1-10 standard charges they're in stacks of 470 for a single silver that's a really good deal so we just we would fly to steel Nargval, we would buy eight stacks of that for instance and load up our guns with those just the same way that we moved materials from our cargo bay to the flight center or from the flight center to the cargo bay you do the same thing with ammo once the ammo's in your cargo bay you would just drag it right here into the ammo slots pretty easy stuff so here is the dragon loot that we picked up so far And you definitely want to do dragon hunting near mountains. See these stone mountains up here? Dragons love stone mountains. They like to live up there in caves. And when you get a ship that can go higher, like say 4,000, you can really start to find some very dragon heavy mountains. Okay, let's get some more dragon loot here. Now just to show you why this stage of the whole thing takes a while, uh, let's say we wanted to sell this dragon loot. One dragon bone, two dragon claws, blood, and some meat. I would go to the market, go to trophies, dragon parts are considered trophies, and let's say I want to sell this meat for instance. Dragon meat sells at two silver per stack, oh no excuse me that's what they're selling it to me for. <laughs> uh, what I have to sell to them for is one silver for a stack of 242 it's it's a huge huge hurdle this is the this is the part of your new player experience that's going to take a while probably a couple hours this is the point of your gameplay that i strongly recommend you join a guild join a group of players because uh, solo play can be a little bit tedious at this point because a player like myself who has a dragon base, I can just farm that much loot in a matter of seconds. And I can help you, the new player, out by just giving you a stack of some crappy loot that we don't actually need, and you can go sell it and get your achievement. But if you want to do it the long way, that's totally cool too. It is possible to be, possible to be lone wolf in this game. Alright, we picked up that loot. Looks like it's just some more blood. And if we go to trophies, dragon blood, they're buying 32 for one silver. And remember your achievement is to earn 10 silver from dragon loot. That'll take a little while in your newbie balloon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back to town because I wanna show you one other thing before we finish this. And there's just a small area of the mountains that's uh, low enough for me to get over without hitting my flight ceiling. The dragons are just going to keep bugging me until I get to town. One fun thing to do if you like to see uh, the city do all of its firing is you uh, bring in a big old tail of dragons behind you and just fly right into town. You get to see the town's strekelets and AA guns and stuff going nuts trying to take these guys out. It's pretty cool to watch the first time. Anyway, we're going to head back to town, and you'll notice that my ship, the HP, says 1.36, and it's lowering, million HP out of 885,000. Reason is, I've got these crystals on. What are these crystals? Well, these are what I trained for just a little bit earlier. I trained level 1 of defense crystal. I went to the market. I went to magic items, and here's the pay to win. Defense crystals, 3 carats. It costs three gold for basically 300,000 extra health on top of my ship. Think of it like shields in EVE Online. This keeps my structure from being damaged, because once they get into structure, dragons can burn your ship down really quick. Same as EVE, you know, you don't want a structure tank. As fun as it is. So, you're saying, well, I don't want to pay gold, I don't want to pay to win, how do I get around this? You can, actually, it is quite easy. Just go to money, 
go to gold, and you can buy gold with your silver. So one gold is 100 silver, so that's going to be 300 silver worth of gold in order to buy a 3 carat defense crystal. That's not too bad. You can earn that money fairly quickly. Um, when you start to get into the high level stuff, like the one that costs a thousand silver or ten gold, then you have to start to be careful with how you use your ship, where you take your ship into. But uh, that's your way around the gold pay to win scheme. Um, I just paid gold for it for the purpose of the tutorial. And again, I said it in the second tutorial, it's, it's really, to be honest, a little bit easier to just throw five dollars at the game and use gold, because if that costed three gold, 13,500 gold, I mean, that's going to last me a month plus, which uh, it's not bad for an MMO. But again, it's up to you completely. I want to make sure that you know that both options are available to you. It's just really dependent on uh, how patient you are. If you're impatient like me, you'll throw gold at the little problems. But if you are, that's cool. Good on you. Yeah, these dragons do not like me. And now we're flying through the clouds. This is when the graphics in the game actually get kind of cool. I mean, the trees are not... I think all the graphics in this game are dated. They're not like something you'd see in Unreal Engine. But the game is meant to be played for the air, so the higher up you go, the cooler the landscape looks. By the way, in first-person mode, you can right-click on the target. It will show your target's uh, HP, meaning percentage of HP. So it's at 35% health, and he's at 1,400 height from the ground, and he's going 270-ish miles an hour in the changing speed. Or excuse me, that's his uh, distance from me. He's going 195. Oh, we just took him out. He's dead. And again, this is all my automatic weaponry. If you prefer manual fire because it's more exciting for you, then all power to you. you. You can just go in here, change these to 1 instead of A. Look at this. We've burned through all of our ammo. We're actually just about out. You can see how ammo goes really quick in this game. Thankfully, it's super cheap to buy. I mean, what was that? 470 of them for a single silver? So that's good. Congratulations, you've completed the task. Oh, and there's other achievements in this game that are not listed here. Uh, kind of annoying, I know, because it'd be nice to see what achievements you can get. There is a way to do it. Uh, I think if you log out of your character, there's a list of achievements there. But we're focusing on the primary achievements right now. So earn 10 silver from selling trophies. That's going to take a little while. We've killed our dragons, but we're heading back to town because we need more silver. And we're kind of getting messed up by dragons right now. So you see my first defense crystal is down to 38,000 durability. I'm about to lose it, but thankfully I bought two. As we approach the city, you're going to see fire coming from the city. Ah, there we go. Hey, there's a guildmate of mine. Alright, making our way through the clouds. And yes, the city can friendly fire you, so if you see a gun between you and a dragon, try to steer clear of it, because the city doesn't know better. It'll just shoot right through you. Here comes the flak ammo. It's very cool. I, I really like the um, World War I sort of feel. World War I, World War II. AA guns, machine guns flying into the sky. Ooh, she got bumped by a dragon. There you go, the city is really starting to open up on the dragons now. These little guys in blue, these are strekolits. They're, we also call fighters, because that's what they are. And they will go and they'll intercept any enemy in range of the city. That includes you, the player, if you've done something naughty. Alright, looks like we're going to make it. We lost one defensive crystal, but we still have another one with uh, 300,000 health on it, just about. Ok, 
Okay. I think we are good. We've survived our dragon attack with literally no ammo. But, hey, we are close to town, so no big deal. And my balloon was damaged at high altitude. You get an email if you uh, damage your balloon from that. Uh, next tutorial is going to be advanced dragon hunting and dragon bases. See y'all later.